Got them all on. Yeah, we're back and doing this again because the other video did so well. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. Let's kind of let's get into it. I am under the water. Please help me. So, beginning of the movie, we pretty much just get like a intro since yeah, it's been like thirteen freaking years since the last movie. Um, in that time, Jake built himself a family. The world, his Pandora has healed. It's all great and honky dory, and he had a couple kids. One of the funnier scenes is um, Kitty telling her brother that he's a penis head, but that doesn't really add anything to the story. Just a funny little tidbit. Now there's a slight hiccup to Jake's plan because the humans decide, yeah, we're not gonna take that shit of you kicking us off the planet. So we're coming back and we're gonna burn half the frickin' forest down around you and we're gonna set up shop in this really cool really high-tech base with <laughs> a lot of guns and a little bit after all of that um we find out big dick Corch is back and he's big and blue now along with Lyle who is kind of a shit ass but that's beside the point a lot of the people, like main antagonists from Avatar 1, get brought back as recons. And I don't know if I already made a video on recons, I probably already did. But pretty much they're Avatar bodies made from human, well, the human DNA of them. And yeah, they go and I don't know all the science shit. Anyway, they plug their memories into it. They, without the AWOL connection crap, they just kind of plug a hard drive in your brain like, yeah, you're, you're you now, but it's not exactly seamless, so they get the memories back, but it's not exactly them. Like, they have, they have their memories, they have some of their actions, how they act and react and stuff like that, some of their same lines, but they're not exactly the same. So, Quaritch goes down with his other blue bonehead buddies, and they go to Bridgehead. They meet the new head honcho of, well, not the RD, is it still the, it's technically still the RDA, but there's also different Earth governments that are backing it now because, well, the mission is no longer let's steal all the shit and go back to Earth, it's let's steal all the shit, keep it there, and bring all the people from Earth there, or the rich people there. And Quaritch's job, and his group's job is to go and teabag on Jake Sully. So they go and attempt to do that. So they go out into the forest. The whole thing that Arden brings up is they won't get attacked like the humans will out in the forest because it was kind of like mobilized all the shit to attack anything human really. And it, they get proven that yeah, they can't get fucked with. So they go out there, they capture Jake's kids and Quaritch's kid, Spider, or Miles Socorro, since I guess Quaritch got a little freaky deaky with one of the pilots in the lore, like during Avatar 1, and had a kid. So that's who Spider is, essentially, and that comes up later as more of a problem, and Quaritch shows some of his humanity and that he's not a massive pissing it, but. Beside, that's beside the point right now. So pretty much he and Jake and all the recoms in it here get into a big ass firefight and somehow, some way, none of the kids and neither Jake nor Nateri actually get clipped by any of the fifty BMG going downrange towards them. And they manage to take out quite a few of the recon uh, <laughs> quite a few of the recons. Man, I can't speak words today. But yeah, they use some stealth tactic shit. Yeah, so pretty much Jake and Neytiri are freaked out. They think Spider's gonna spill the beans on where they're living right now and they don't want their people up in High Camp, which is where they've moved since Home Tree kinda got turned into a campfire pit, essentially. And they decide yeah, we gotta peace out. They go out to Awaltu. Probably not saying that right. It's the Metkaina village out in the middle of the ocean. But might I say, some of those still shots are chef's kiss. They're so good. So good. But, yeah, they get out there, and they go back and forth of, 
they can't stay here. Yes, they can. Just the internal strife of new people joining the friend group, pretty much. And Korich figures out where they are, essentially, because Kitty had a... Stro not a stroke. Um, medical term. Yeah, that, that'll get filled in by someone in the comments, probably. But Norm has to go out there in the Samson with another one of his um, scientist buddies, can't remember the name of him, but they go out there and Quirch tracks the fact that, they're, oh yeah, there's a Samson out there, and he pretty much island hops, getting really angry at all the local reef navi of, where's Jake Sully? We don't know! Yes, you do, and Spider trying to be mediator. So, he burns down a couple of villages. Eventually, um, the whaler dude, decides, yeah, we're go we're gonna I need to make money. So they kill one of the Tulkun who are really smart whales for like way out layman's terms. They're much more than that. They have a deep connection to the Metkaina and a lot of the Reef Navi. But they kill one of them, suck the brain juice out, which is like has some sort of immortality properties which outside of the movie got harnessed by Mick who's the jackass whaler, the um, scientist dude with the whalers, Ardmore, and like one or two other people, I'm pretty sure, and then they start selling that because that can make people immortal, and they stop aging, essentially. So that's like the new unobtainium, so it's the extra, extra virgin olive oil is what's keeping all the businessmen alive. So the mech kind of get pissed. They... Lorak figures out that his buddy, one of the Tolkun, um, got poked by a tracker, so they go and try to save him, and that incites a fight because Quaritch catches the doofus, goofy ah uh, uh, kids because they tried to save him, they managed to get the tracker out, and once they do that, it just turns into a shitstorm. Like, things explode, people get shot on both ends, most of the humans get wiped out, that, that, that is one of the things that bothers me, though, is a lot of those sailors and whatever, a lot of them weren't armed. They're set ops, which, like, C-E-T-O-P-S. They're the ocean peeps. They're just, they're sailors. And another thing that pissed me off was, in the boat, they, I only really saw any of them use long guns, like rifles. None of them had pistols. Like, in an enclosed space, like inside of a boat, you're going to want pistols and shorter, more compact weapons. Nah. Nah, bro. They all had long guns. And the Reef Navi... I didn't see any boats, like any um, escape boats, because the big whaling vessel sank. And I don't think any of the escape boats, like, escaped. Because they all jettisoned and were like, yeah, we're gtf owing, we're exfilling, and the Reef Navi probably sank all of them and killed all the people in a fit of rage. Um, then Sully's family got stuck on the boat because they couldn't swim under the little ring of fire despite all of them knowing how to swim. Even Neytiri, even though she's a fud, essentially, for the Navi and won't take up any of the Reef Navi ways. So, Korch and Jake fight. It goes shit for both of them. Korich passes out. Spider saves him off camera. Well, not technically off camera. He does save him on camera. But no one else knows. So Korich escapes. He lives to fight another day. All the other recons just get utterly fucked. They're all dead other than Lyle. And... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, Natam dies. He gets shot. He was kind of a soy boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut that in an editing. But, um... Yeah. Not a lot goes good in the end, but then they all reunite as a family, and yeah, they're chilling. So, yeah, that was my coverage of Avatar The Way of Water, and I'll probably make a video on the recoms eventually, and I'll probably make a video on the guns of Avatar 2 The Way of Water, because... Yeah, it was fun the last time, and y'all really liked that. That's, like, my most watched one out of any of them. So, yeah, stay tuned. Come join my Discord if you want. If not, I don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some food.